Hello. No. I don't think you can do that. Okay, how can I on the internet? I'm gonna try not to have a catastrophe over here, okay? <laughs> Why is nothing focusing today? I feel like I've failed miserably. Hey y'all, it's Jalen. Today I'm going to be doing the beauty lovers tag. I was sort of-ish tagged by Whitney from The Whitney Story blog. Um, she's really awesome and shares a bunch of really awesome beauty things, so you should definitely check her out. I'll leave a link in the description bar below. Um, she posted a blog post that she had done over the beauty lover tag. She answered the questions and I thought it was so, so awesome um, that she tagged me. So thank you for tagging me, Whitney. I am just kind of slumming it today. I'm in a t-shirt and my hair is up in this thing and I can't be bothered. I wanted to do my makeup but I didn't want to get dressed so real talk. The first question is if you could have anyone do your makeup who would it be? And that's a really tough one because there are a lot of talented makeup artists out there and people who just love makeup in general. Um, there are a lot of talented makeup doers out there. It's a word. Look it up. I really like Nikki Tutorials. I think she's really funny and so I would like her to do my makeup because she's like fierce. So yeah, if I could choose I'd probably say Nikki Tutorials because the girl's awesome. Question two. What's your top makeup tip? Oh man. Okay, so let me just give you a little backstory. When I started wearing makeup, I wore Bare Minerals, the loose powder foundation and I had a kit. Got a kit for Christmas of, you know, the starter kit. And back then I think it had, it had prime time, it had, you know, the powders as well, and then like warmth, and then the overall glow thing. Man, I haven't worn Bare Minerals in a long time, the foundation. Anyway, but what I remember is how big a difference the primer made. The primer, prime time, I think that's what it's called. Um, it made all the difference. I tested it out, of course, because I was like, I don't know, 13 or 14. And I would put on the foundation and sometimes I would get lazy and I wouldn't put on the primer and I would notice that when I put on the primer, my makeup looked a lot better. So primer is my number one makeup tip. Wear primer on your eyes, wear primer on your face, girl. Okay, so I really like the Laura Geller Spackle. There are a few different types. This one's the hydrating one. I like it quite a bit. It really just makes the makeup go on and stay longer and I like it a lot. On a different kind of primer front, I really like the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. Oh man, this stuff is so pretty. It's like a pinky champagne -y glow and I really like to put it on if my skin's feeling kind of dull or tired. Putting that on um, under foundation, man oh man, it will make your skin look flawless. And mmm, mmm, sit down. Well this isn't gonna work. Can we shoot the video like this? The third question is what makeup item could you not live without? And that would have to be the Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Mascara. I'm thinking on terms of how often I reach for something, my go-to product, something that really just it gets me. That product that you can always count on. And that is the Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Mascara. This stuff is amazing. I got a trial size, I think in an Ipsy box, a couple of years ago, and I went through the trial size and I loved it so much. So I hopped on and I bought it from, I think I bought it from, straight from Elizabeth Mott's website first, um, with a coupon half off coupon and I loved it I went through that tube and then I ordered from Amazon because I wanted two-day shipping and I've just ordered and ordered I think this is my like fifth or sixth two of this stuff it's awesome I would highly 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 recommend it if you haven't ever tried it what one skincare item could you not live without that would have to be the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 8% AHA gel it's an exfoliant I use it every day uh, after I cleanse my face and tone my face and it has made a big difference in the overall look of my skin. I believe it's the reason that my scar has faded so much underneath my nose. 
Um, that's the scar from when my dog ripped my face open. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here so that you can check it out. Paula's Choice, I did a blog campaign with them, so they did pay me to try the products. They sent me a bunch of products to try, um, but they, they're not paying for this video. This, is, this video is in no way sponsored by them. But this was the one standout product. I liked a lot of the products in the line, don't get me wrong, they were all really good. But um, this product really just kind of took my breath away. I hadn't tried anything like it, and yeah, I like that a lot. The next question is, what are you worst at when it comes to applying makeup? And for me, that would have to be choosing colors. Choosing colors is probably the worst part of applying makeup for me. I have such a hard time with that. Sometimes I'll, I think it's because I don't plan very well on days that I'm just, you know, haphazardly doing my makeup. I'll do an eye and I'm like, oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, I like this lipstick. I'll just put this lipstick on and then I'll put it on and be like, ooh, girl, that does not look good at all together. Not together. Apart, separately? Yeah, absolutely. But together? Mm-mm. So I guess pairing different colors of things is not my strong suit. What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to beauty? Oh, I've got a lot. Got a lot of pet peeves. I mean, I guess apart from like not blending or something, it would probably be no brows. Or really, really thin brows on purpose. Really super duper pencil thin brows or really dark, crazy, like clearly markered on brows or no brows at all. What's your favorite makeup era? I'm gonna take this question to me in, like, in history that I've seen. And that'd probably be the 60s. I think the 60s were really fun um, as far as their makeup looks went. Obviously, I was not there. I loved the huge winged liner. I loved the bright, like, orangey, reddy lips. And they were not afraid to play with color. The cut crease was super in. Ugh, yeah, they had they had makeup game. Those girls in the 60s. What is your guilty pleasure product? Really, um, that would have to be pink lipstick. <laughs> pink lipstick is my guilty pleasure product, but in particular, it's this pink lipstick. This is the MAC Candy Yum Yum. Are you surprised? I have a whole video talking about pink lipsticks that I love, but this one is just my favorite. The next question. What is your favorite underdog product? Ooh, I am glad that you asked, internet. I am glad that you asked for these. So many beauties. So little time. These are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trios, and they are amazing. And what is your favorite makeup product of 2015? And I don't think that this product was released in 2015. But I have to say it anyway because I found it in 2015. I discovered it for myself in 2015. And it was my favorite makeup product. It is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from It Cosmetics. It is amazing. It has changed my life. Which may be kind of an overstatement. I like to put it underneath my eyes. I didn't today, because I'm weird. But I like to put it underneath my eyes, and it really just brightens up the area, makes everything super duper pretty, and light and bright. Love it. Super creamy. Blends like a charm. It's my favorite. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the Beauty Lovers tag. If you're interested, go ahead and I tag you. So, make your own video and tell me, um, the answers to your beauty lover questions. Thanks for watching y'all. Please don't forget to like this video and comment if you like and as always you can subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all. Be all about how my dog ripped my face open on Christmas Day. You should never ever ever do this. And initially I thought that she had ripped my lip off.